friends, let's learn how to play Easy Lover on guitar by Phil Collins. Let's jump straight into it. So we're going to start on an F sharp, two on the E, four on the A. Play that once. Hold for a bar and three counts, then play it again and go back to the F, so just back one fret. Hold that for two bars and then repeat that again, the F sharp, F sharp again, and then go back to the F and just hold that for a count of three. And then from there we're coming up to a C sharp, so four on the A, six on the D and the G, play that two times. Come up two frets to the D sharp, play that two times. And then just play an F, so eight, 10 and 10, once and slide down. Then we're coming up to the eighth fret G, ninth fret on the B and we play that three times. And do that staccato. And then we have this little run, which we're going to use a fair bit through the song on the D string. Slide up to the third fret from the first fret. Play it again. Back to the first fret. Third fret A. And then third fret back on the D. Then go back to your C sharp, D sharp, and F. Slide down. Do our 8 and 9 again. Three times our little run. And then to finish the intro off, C sharp, D sharp, F. So let me play that for you. So intro there, from there we go into our chorus. Let's have a look at that. We slide from our first fret to our third fret on the D string. Play the third fret again. First fret D, third fret A, third fret D. Come up our power chord, so C sharp, C sharp, F, and let it slide back. So we're gonna do that three times for our chorus. we're just going to finish on an F power chord, so first fret on the E string, third fret on the A and the D, and we just hold that there and that finishes off our chorus, and then from there we go into our verse, let's have a look at that. Then for our verse we've got A string, fourth fret, and then three, four, four again, four again, and then three, and then do four again, then three, four, four again, four again, and then one on the D, two times with three on the D, one on the D, three on the A, three on the D, stay on the D, one, three, three, one, and then still on the D, three, three, one, A, three, D, three, and then three, three, and three on the A. Then we repeat that all again, except we don't play that last three on the A, we play three, two, one on the A, and that's our verse. changes a little bit we're going to play this chord here we're going to play the third fret on the D string the first fret on the G string and the second fret on the B string we're going to just play the third fret first on the D all palm muted and then the one and the two on the G and the B and we do that three times so, so pretty easy then we've got this little fill we're going to play open G string third fret G string fourth fret B string, first fret B string, and again, third fret G string, first fret G string, and then we do our 
chord again, exactly the same, all palm muting, three, one, and two. Three times. Now the fill changes a little bit here. We play the open third fret. So the open string on the G, third fret on the G, fourth fret on the B, first fret on the B, then play the first fret again, fourth fret on the B, and then first fret on the E there. Then we go back to our chord again and do it exactly the same. Now this last fill is similar to the first one, open G, third fret G, fourth fret B, first fret B, first fret B again, third fret G, first fret on the G, and then we're going to an F sharp power chord, so second fret on the E, fourth fret on the A. And then we're just doing our run up again, the C sharp power chord, D sharp power chord, and then our F there. So let me do that up to speed for you. takes us straight back to the chorus and we do that exactly the same as we just did. Then we go back to the verse again which is exactly the same again. We go to our second pre-chorus and that's going to be exactly the same as our first pre-chorus except we're not going to end on the F sharp and then going up the neck. We're going back to the intro. So then we go into our bridge which is basically the same as the intro. We go to that F sharp power chord. We're holding that again same as we did in the intro and then play it again back to our F, so back one fret, hold that for two bars, back to our F sharp again, and then we do that again, and then we come up to our C sharp power chord, do that two times, up two frets, up two frets again, and play that once, and that's our bridge. So in our solo, there's no rhythm, then after our solo, we go back to that first pre-chorus again, and then we finish off with our chorus. Let's go over that now. So our last chorus is similar to our other choruses. We have our little fill. So one slide up to three, three again, first fret D, third fret A, back to the third fret D. So. Then we do our C sharp power chord once, coming up to our D sharp power chord once, and our F power chord once. And we do that two times. So. And there's a weight there, and then we do it again. Then we go back to that little chord we were doing at the start, eighth fret on the G, ninth fret on the B string. We do that three times. Then we just go back to our fill again. Power chord. Do our fill again. And then we go back to our chord, do that three times again. And then we just do our fill with our power chords and a little chord right through to the end. So. So that's all the parts of the song. Now let's tackle the solo as well. So we're starting the solo with this chord on the 10th fret barring the D and the G and on the 13th fret on the B and we're just doing a down up, down up five times. So. And up to speed. And from there we're sliding up to the 15th fret on the D string, play the 13th fret on the G and the 15th fret on the G and just do a little bend there. So. Then we're sliding up to the 15th fret on the A string, play the 13th fret on the G string, 15, G, 13, G, back to 15 on the D string, 13 on the G, 16 on the B, back to 15 on the G, then 13 on the B, 15 on the D, and 13 on the G. So from there we're going to start on the first fret 
on the B and the G and slide up to the 13th fret and then we're going to do this little pattern here we're going to play down, mute, down, mute, down, down so there so sliding up then we come back to the 8th fret on the A string 6th fret on the D 8th fret on the D and then do a little half bend on the 8th fret again on the D back to 6 on the D 8 on the A 6 on the D 8 on the A then we're going to do that same little pattern we did before but this time we're going to be on the 13th fret on the D, G and B string and the last one we're going to add the 16th fret on the D so and from there we're sliding up to the 15th fret on the D, play 13 on the G, 15 on the G, 15 again on the G, 13 on the G, 15 on the D, 13 on the G. And from there we're doing a bend on the 16 on the B string, 16 pull off the 13 on the B, play 15 on the G, 13 on the B, a bend on the 15 on the G and then 13 B, 15 and 13 on the G, 15 on the D, then on the G string 15 pull off back to 13, 15 bend release pull off to 13 so and then the 15 on the D string, 13 on the G, 15, bend and release on the D, pull off to 13, and then on the A string, 15, 13, 15, come back, 13, 11, 13. And from there we have this little run up, we're going to start on the 8th foot on the A and play 8, 10, 11. On the D, 8 and 10. On the G, 8, 9, 10. And on the B we're going to play 8, 9, 10. 8, 11, 9, 8. Then from there we're sliding up to the 13th fret on the B. So play 13, 11 on the B, 13 on the G. Slide from 13 to 14 on the B. Play the 15 on the G. And then 14, slide up to 16 on the B. And then we have 13 on the B, 16 on the B, 13 on the E, back to 16 on the B, and then we do a full bend on the 16 on the B, and then 13 E, 16 B, 13 B, 15 on the G, 13, back on the B there. Now we have this little run up again, we're going to slide up to the 15th on the D, 13 on the G, 17 on the G, 16B, 16E, 16B, and then up to 18 on the B three times. Then you can slide up to the 18 and get on the B, 16E, 18E, and then we're doing four full bends there. One, two, three, four, and then just finishing on the 18 there. Thank you.